You are an old friend. Verse 18. God still bless like. you for coming. Okay? God bless you all. Let's go ahead and do so, that. Enjoy this great family because this place is everything that we are doing. Thank you for the love. Bless you. Let me Come. tell you something. You must something. You must use something. But how is it? I will share those that you will be in time. Okay? okay. How do you do that? Do that. children of God. God bless every one of you. My old subscribers, you guys are amazing. I don't take you guys for granted. I appreciate all your good work, all your support, and all your love, and all your comments, and everything. God bless every one of you. God bless you all mightily. May the good Lord meet you at the point of your need. Those who are about to join the family, what are you waiting for? It is free of charge. Go ahead and smack the red button. Click the notification bell so you can know your beloved sister upload. You'll be able to get notified. And above all, I want you to subscribe to Jesus Christ. You know why? Jesus Christ is the owner of this channel. Here we use the Bible to encourage one another, to motivate one another, and to pray with one another. God bless you. Without wasting of our time, let's dive in. Today, we are going to talk about why you should always respect your parents and your parents-in-laws. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. I sound so... What is she talking about? Yes. I want you to listen till the end. God is a loving father. Irrespective of God's love to you, to me, to every one of us. Your parents are your earthly God. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? Your parents are your earthly God. So whatsoever your parents do to you, unless, on I don't care, it takes divine God's intervention to do it. So I want you to get that into your head today. They are your earthly God. That is number one reason you should always do what? Honor them. Bless them. Respect them. And take good care of them. You are alive because they did not kill you. They may make so many mistakes. They may do a lot of things that you don't approve. But I am here to tell you, do not despise your parents because they have the power to render you useless. The word from their mouth. Just word from their mouth. Look at during the time of Jacob. He caused his first son. He said that he will not prosper. He said that nothing good will come out of his first son. And that is why the Bible said that all the first child is either you redeem them or you sacrifice them. So all your first children, if you look at them, most of the time, first children don't do well. So you need to be more focused on your first child. Redeem them or you do what? You honor them. But how do you honor them? By you sacrificing, making a sacrifice on their behalf to redeem them from the Lord. So either you sacrifice them or you redeem them. So what we do now, because Jesus Christ has died on the cross, is that we redeem our first child. It's as a result, it started during the time of Jacob because of the deed of Reuben, who happened to be the first son. So we're going to read in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 24, verse 67. It says, Then Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent, and he took Rebekah, and she became his wife. And he loved her. So Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. This place is talking about when somebody got you married and brought you to their family. Yes, you have become part of that family by covenant. That covenant is through marriage. 
So if you look in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, if you look in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, it's talking about children honor your mother and your father that your days may be long. So number one reason is this. They are your earthly fathers. They are your earthly gods. You need to respect them. They have the power to curse you. They have the power to bless you. For instance, uh, there is somebody I know. So he got married for four or five years of that marriage. There was no issue. The wife would conceive and it will abort. The wife would conceive that the child will just miscarry. So one day when I found this thing about parental power, especially a father, I was like, oh my God. So I called him on the phone. I said, hey, listen, I don't want you to give excuse. I don't, I don't care what you have to say, but I want you to pick up the phone and call your father and apologize to your father. The father was still alive, but the father did not grace his marriage. The father did not come to the marriage. You know, most of the time we are like, I don't care. He did this to me. He did that to me. I want you, no matter what your parents did to you, I want you to maintain peace with them. It is for your own good, not for them. It is for your own good. So he called, he apologized to the father. I said, when you finish, kneel down wherever you and say, Daddy, please, I want you to pray for me and I want you to bless my marriage. So many of us are suffering today because we are in enmity with our parents. And when you're in enmity with your parents here, your prosperity is going to be very hard. I'm telling you, make peace with them. If they... They done something so hard for you that you cannot, you know, relate with them as such. Maintain that distant relationship, but do not hate them. If you have money enough, map out their allowances. If you have, give them whatever they need from you monthly. Whether they, they, they appreciate it or they don't appreciate it, I want you to do this. I am telling you, I say, reason you should respect your parents and your parents-in-law is because your parents are your earthly God and your parents-in-law are your parents by covenant. Through marriage, you have covenanted into that family. So that's why you need to do what you need to honor them and you need to appreciate them and you need to maintain peace with them. If they curse you, <laughs> it takes someone like Moses to be able to Deliver the the, the, the the Rubenites. Do you know that the people that were swallowed in the Bible, that the earth opened and swallowed up, they are Rubenites. As a result of what Abraham, uh, what uh, Jacob said to them. He said, you shall not prosper and you shall not be able to produce. You shall serve your younger ones. They imagine the kind of power that your parents have over you. So this message today is why you should always honor your parents and your parents-in-law. It is for your own good. So, in the book of Ruth, Ruth chapter 2 verse 11 says, verse 11 says, And Boaz answered and said to her, It has been fully reported to me all that you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband, and how you have left your father and your mother and the land of your birth, and have come to a people whom you did not know before. You see, through the deed of, uh, of Ruth, to, to to Naomi, he found favor in the eyes of Boaz. So many people, are, so many blessings we're enjoying today. It's not because of us, it's because of our parents. It's because of our mother, in, our parents-in-laws. So I am here to tell you that for you to respect and to honor these people, and not only that, when you are doing that, I am saying this now, if your parents are already aged, I am going to give you a tips on how to receive a blessing from them. If you are close to them, I want you to package a very presentable package according to your own size, you know, according to your income, according to your pocket. I want you to package something. If you are very close to them that you can cook very delicious food, cook it with your husband. I want you to package it and buy something so presentable to them. They are your entry God. I want you to go to them. I want you to tell them that you're coming if it is necessary. If not, pay them a surprise visit. When you come to them, present all those things for them. You say, Mom, Dad, please, I just want you guys to pray for me. 
do it in a casual way you know what you are looking for you are looking for divine visitation find a way to receive to get blessings from their parents before they die i wish i have matured to this extent before my moms and my dad were late i could have been the happiest person but i'm here to share that tips for you i want you to go to them and i want you to go with don't go empty-handed if if they're already dead if they're already dead i want you to do it to somebody who is close to you in the form of parents like elder to your father or anybody go to them with present and also demand that they pray and they bless you you say you know that if my parents are to be alive if my mother is my father is are to be alive that this is what i would do for them but they are no longer alive so i bring this thing to you and i want you to do it i want you to bless me i want you to 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 to, to you know to oh, oh pray that god will open doors for me ruth did go to naomi he found favor in Boaz, and with the of that, he was she was counted in the generality of Jesus Christ. I know that sometimes it's they are so unbearable to deal with, but I'm here to tell you, I'm here to encourage you that yes, you are not living with them, so that is why it is an amazing thing. But I want you to maintain a cordial relationship with your parents or your parents in law. It is very hard most of the time. I'm not saying brothers and sisters in law. I'm not saying those or oh, your brothers and your sisters. I say your parents or your parents in law. Maintain a cordial relationship with them. If it is necessary, like I said, I want you to do this thing I'm asking you now. I want you to cook a very nice food. Buy something very, if it is on your bed, whatever. If bed is going to take too long because you never know the day they are going to die. I told a friend this issue. I say, your mother is still alive. I want you to visit your mother. I want you to call your mother. Cook a very delicious food for your mother. And your father-in-law, do you know that she's still, you know, getting, okay, okay. The mother just died. I wish I knew this when my mother was still alive or when my father was still alive. But I didn't. But I'm here to share it to you. Take this step and receive the double portion of blessing from them. You will never remain the same if you do this. God bless every one of you as you respect your mother and your parents and your parents-in-law. Until next time, bye-bye.